everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are out with the chickens. We have a situation with one of the hens. She has a messy bum and I'm not sure what's going on but what is important is that we get her cleaned up so that we can see what's going on. Chickens can get diarrhea for a multitude of reasons. It can just be because it's hot or because it is hot and they're drinking a lot more water. It can be from watery treats like watermelon or grapes or there could be an underlying problem and that's what we need to see. We need to get in there and bathe her and find out what's going on back there and also get that away from her sensitive skin. So let's get in the run, grab Emma and get ready to give her a bath. Okay, before we jump into the bathing part, I want to talk about dust bathing for just a moment because if your chicken is dust bathing on a regular basis, then that is their form of hygiene. I know dust and bath together doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but for chickens it does. The sandy soil helps brush off and eliminate dirt and grime and all of those things. It absorbs moisture and it also keeps away external parasites such as lice and mites. So it's very beneficial for your chicken. Make sure they have access to it. But if they have poo on them, either from themselves or somebody else, they've been injured, they're sick, there's a vet problem, then they may need a regular bath. So we're all set up. You're going to want a couple towels, one for yourself. They may splash around and get you wet. I'm going to use this clear tote so you can see what's going on. I've got my gloves and my apron. I brought down a couple of options for just in case she's got a cut or her feathers have been plucked out and we need to cover that up. And the hose has been laying out in the hot sun. It's about 87 degrees right now and the water is hot. So I'm going to go ahead and fill from that first. As the water runs into cool water, I can finish filling it up from there. And you want the water cool, not hot, especially on a hot day. I did just do a video on keeping your chickens cool. I will post that, link that, so that you can watch that too. You don't want them overheated on a hot day. Okay, I'm all geared up. Now normally when I'm handling my chickens, I don't wear all this extra gear, but she does have a pretty messy bum and we don't want that all over us. And if you are not so sure about the graphics of this, you might want to look away for a couple minutes because I am going to point her out in the run and what we're dealing with before we put her in the bath. But let's go in and get her and get ready to give her her bath. Okay, here is Emma. She is the lightest bird here, the buff Orpington, and she's really not going to cooperate. There you go. You can see, not real well, but you can see that her bum is really black and gross, and that is just poo that is on her. She's had some diarrhea, and I'm not sure why, but we're going to clean her off. Now, here is a quick shot of that. Most of it's wet, but some of it is dried on her, and we got to get it off. Now, when you put your girl in the, the water, you want to be careful not to just drop them in. A bath can be pretty traumatic for them, so you want to set them in gently, let them acclimate, and you know, the same with uh, getting them wet. I, I don't want to just splash a whole lot of water. I wanted to get her a little wet first so she knew it was coming. And we're working in a very sensitive area. This is right back there by her vent. So she's going to be pretty protective of that area. And she's not going to want to be bothered back there or to feel like she's being violated in any way. So we just want to be gentle. And it is important that we use baby shampoo or a very delicate shampoo because chickens cannot be stripped of their oils. Now chickens have an oil gland back here very close to where I'm working and they use that oil to preen themselves. They take their beak and they kind of spread it around. You may see them reaching back there and, and redistributing that oil. That helps keep their feathers soft and supple and waterproof and you don't want to use a harsh chemical on them or a shampoo, no vinegar, no Dawn dish detergent, nothing that's going to strip them. And you don't want to dry out that gland back there. It's called the preening gland or the uropelageal gland. Did I say that right? Uropelageal gland. And 
Um, you can see here that she's very content. She's just hanging out as I'm washing her. Now, some of that is really stuck on. I really like these kitchen gloves for this because they're textured. And I am not pulling down on those feathers. I'm actually taking my fingers and rubbing back and forth, a little cross fiber friction, if you will, back and forth rather than up and down because I don't want to pluck her feathers out. I don't want to hurt her that way. I want to move back and forth and just rub those feathers under the water and loosen that up. Put a little soap on and loosen that up and just get all of that off of her. So once we're all done sugsing up, we're going to go ahead and remove her. Now you can have someone either hold her or you can, I have her wrapped in a towel, you can put her in a little carrier, you can put her in a cage, just set her off the side, but I guarantee you if you set her down unattended, she's going to run off and you're going to go have to catch her, she's going to be dirty again. So I've washed out our container. Now if you're by yourself, you can do two containers, two baths, one for washing and then you could put her over in the other one and you don't have to have someone hold her. That's a great tip if you don't have someone to hold her for you or a place to put her. Now what I poured in here was hot water from the kitchen sink and now I'm using the hose to cool that down and we're going to put her back in and I just want to say I could have had more water in here um, just up to her bum that would have made it a little easier but you always want to be careful not to have the water too high do not let her head get into the water at all because chickens can drown very easily so uh, they don't have a separate breathing water pipe so they can very easily aspirate and drown so make sure their head is kept above the water and as you can see she has tolerated this very well she is really enjoying see she wants to just lay down and uh, when i give them a bath inside and they're in the bathtub they just float around but this is a summer bath and i want to note that because the whole bath routine for winter is completely different so now I've taken her out and um, I'm just going to dry her off a little bit. Now it's a nice warm summer day and so I'm going to let her air dry. And you want to make sure you give them the bath early enough so that they can be outside and get dried off before you put them in the coop at night. That's pretty important to do it that way just to make sure they're good and dry before they go in for their sleep at night. There you have it. That's how you give a chicken a bath. And you can tell that she really did enjoy it. She tolerated it very well. And now she's all fresh and clean. And that's got to feel a whole lot better for her. So guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon.